Now in this video, let us solve some problems based on the midpoint theorem. Now in the figure shown, AD and BE are the medians of triangle ABC. Medians of triangle ABC and BE is parallel to DF. Prove that CF is equal to 1 fourth AC. So we need to prove that this part is a quarter of the total side on which it lies. Median is nothing but the line that originates from a vertex and divides the opposite side into two equal halves. So that is called as the median of a triangle. So if BE is the median of a triangle, then that means it originates from B, it ends on E, making E the midpoint of AC. Similarly, AD, the line starts at A, ends at D, making D the midpoint of BC. So this is called as the median. Now, going to the solution, in triangle BEC, DF is a line through the midpoint D of BC and parallel to BE, intersecting CE at F. So therefore, F is the midpoint of CE. This is exactly the converse of the midpoint theorem. As far as the midpoint theorem was concerned, we had that if a line segment joins two midpoints of a triangle, then that line segment is parallel to the third side and is equal to half of it. But now we know the other data beforehand. We know that DF is parallel to BE and it also originates from the point D. So this shows that if it is parallel to the third side already, that is from the triangle BEC, then DF is definitely the line that is passing through the midpoints of the two sides of the triangle and therefore it is also equal to half the length of the BE. But now what we need is, we just have to declare that F is the midpoint of CE. Because the line drawn through the midpoint of one side of a triangle and parallel to the other side bisects the third side. That is the converse of the midpoint theorem. So now we, have, we are clear about F being the midpoint of CE. So CF equals half of CE. CF equals half of half of AC. Because E is the midpoint of AC and CE is half of AC. So that's exactly what I've done. CE is half of AC. So now we have CF is equal to one fourth of AC. So hence we proved. So the main point here used to solve this problem is the midpoint theorem and the converse of it. That is if you know the midpoint theorem, it's pretty much done. So this completes the problem. Let us go to another problem. In this problem, we have a triangle ABC in which AD is the median through A and E is the midpoint of AD and B produced meets AC in F. We need to prove that AF is equal to one third of the line of which it is lying in. So AF is one third of AC is what we have to prove. So now, now the construction is through D, we need to draw DK parallel to BF. So here I draw DK which is parallel to BF and triangle ADK, this triangle E is the midpoint of AD and EF is parallel to DK. So therefore F is the midpoint of AK. This again follows from the converse of the midpoint theorem. So we establish that F is the midpoint of AK. So therefore we have AF is equal to FK. This is equal to this. Now in triangle BCF, if you consider the triangle BCF, this triangle here, D is the midpoint of BC and DK is parallel to BF. So therefore K is the midpoint of FC. Again using the converse of the midpoint theorem, we have K as the midpoint of FC. So therefore we have FK equals KC. So we have FK equals to KC. Now considering this as first equation and this as second equation and from first and second equations we can easily say that AF equals KC. AF is equal to FK, FK is equal to KC, therefore AF is equal to KC. It is also equal to FK. So now AC equals AF plus KC plus FK. So therefore 
So let's take this as a because AF is equal to KC is equal to FK. So let us write AC is equal to AF plus AF plus AF. That makes it AC equals to 3 AF. And now we have AF equals one third of AC, which is what we wanted. So hence proof. So again, the main concept here is using the converse of the midpoint theorem. That's the most important concept to be used in these kind of problems.